In this video, we will examine the world of crypto. There are many nuances and technical details needed when we speak about crypto and blockchains. This video provides a high level introduction to familiarize you with concepts and definitions. When we simplify information, vital details can get lost. But let's start by looking at the underlying tech. Distributed ledger technology, or DLT, enables a single, sequenced, standardized, and cryptographically secured record of activity to be safely distributed to and acted on by a network of varied participants. More simply, we can say this technology is a way to transfer, store, and process data in distributed systems with the ability to establish and maintain trust between users based on technology. This record or data can contain transactions, asset holdings, or even identities. Public networks allow anyone to view the activity record and permissionless networks allow anyone to participate in it. Private networks restrict viewing and permissioned networks restrict right access. A blockchain is a type of DLT with a specific set of features. It organizes its data in a chain of blocks. Each block contains data that are verified, validated, and then chained to the next block. Blockchain is a subset of DLT, and the Bitcoin blockchain is a specific form of blockchain. Public blockchains are a way of creating trust in a trustless environment. And they do so by generating consensus. Consensus in distributed systems is ensuring that a state, value, or piece of information is correct and agreed upon by most participants. A consensus mechanism guarantees that this effort is conducted fairly and independently of any interested party. In public networks, this can be demonstrated in multiple ways, but the two most popular are investing computational resources, called proof of work, or crypto tokens, called proof of stake. In private networks, participants invest their reputation, called proof of authority. But bear in mind, we are simplifying here. Crypto tokens are necessary parts of public blockchains to incentivize participation, generate trust, and share data. And sometimes we ascribe value to this data. They can also support more complex functions, like decentralized applications through smart contracts. We can describe crypto tokens as privately issued digital representations of value that are cryptographically secured and deployed using distributed ledger technology. There are many types of crypto tokens, but we can bucket them into three main categories. First, are crypto tokens that have no backing. They're usually issued in a decentralized manner, are transferable, have no redemption pledge, and provide no direct claims on the issuer. These include Bitcoin, Ether, Dogecoin, and many more. Second, we have stable coins like USDC and Tether. These are crypto tokens, often centrally issued, that aim to have value stability through reserve assets like cash and commodities, or through algorithms that respond to demand and supply. Stable coins are denominated in monetary unit of account, such as a dollar, and some pledge to redeem in cash at par. Others only allow direct claims to a subset of their users. And third, there are the rest. Utility tokens are crypto tokens usually centrally issued and provide the token holder access to an existing or prospective product or service. These are generally limited to a single network, that is the issuer, or a closed network, linked to the issuer and have limited transferability. Security tokens are crypto tokens that are usually centrally issued and transferable and meet the definition of a security within respective jurisdictions. A security token in one country 
could be a stable coin or unbacked crypto in another. They include tokenized securities as well as native security tokens unique to the blockchain. There are also others like non-fungible tokens, but at the moment they remain small. Thank you.